What's going on YouTube? If this is your first time here, my name is Rashad Scales. I create faith-based content intended to help strengthen and encourage you in your walk with the Lord. So in this video, guys, I really wanna talk about the simplicity of the gospel because I feel like we're living in a time where the gospel has been hidden. And I'm like, will the real gospel please stand up? And yeah, um, I believe we're living in a time also where people need to hear good news and the gospel guys is good news so um i want to first start off in the book of john chapters 3 verses 14. it says and as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God wants everyone in this earth to be saved through his son, Jesus Christ. And how we get saved is by placing our faith solely in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the gospel, guys. It's Let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also you have received and in which you stand, by which also you are saved. If you hold fast that word which I preach to you, unless you believe in vain, for I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received. So Paul received this gospel through the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's very important to understand. So the Spirit gave him that revelation of this gospel that he's preaching. And it says, For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Guys, that is the gospel that, that, that we are saved by. And the moment we place our faith in Jesus Christ, we get born again and receive, we receive a new spirit. And our spirits become one with the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the gospel, guys. It's faith in Jesus Christ alone. We're not saved by any works. It's simple faith, repenting from whatever you're trusting and whatever you're believing in to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we do, guys, we're saved. That's it. No works, nothing. All right? And with baptism, we are baptized in Christ, meaning we're placed in Christ whenever we get saved. And yes, guys, I just wanted to read these scriptures to you and really help you guys understand the simplicity of the gospel. Because like I said, a lot of people are confused and God did not intend for it to be confusing. God is not the God of confusion. He's the God of peace. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there worrying if they can lose their salvation and just living in fear and walking in fear. And that's just not what God wants. God came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. God wants us to know that we are saved, know that we have eternal life. So I hope this, guys, clears the simplicity of it up and... There's many more scriptures, guys, that I can turn to, but I just want to make this video very brief, guys, and don't even take my word for it. I, I want to encourage each and every one of you to dive into the word yourself and really find out what God's word says, because, you know, it, it can be easily, it can be easy to get deceived nowadays, you know, and how we're able to discern if what we're listening to is truth is if we're you know getting into the word ourselves and really building up that that inner man so that when we hear a message that does not align up to god's word you know your holy spirit can can give us that uh red flag um so guys i again i want to emphasize the simplicity of the gospel all have fallen short of of the glory of god all have sinned i have sinned you have sinned everybody in this earth has sinned but what did Christ do? Christ, he died for our sins, every one of our sins, 
past, present, and future. He wiped the debt that we had clear so that we can enter into a relationship with the Father through Christ. And it's by coming into that knowledge of Jesus Christ and what He's done, we're saved and we're sealed by the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption. God says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. We're secure. God, He has us. And if one of His children, okay, end up straying away from the path, God is faithful to bring that person back. And that's something that I am able to see in my life. Like when I, in the past, have strayed away, God was always faithful to bring me back to the path path of righteousness to following him so i love you guys and i pray that this video helped you and like i said don't take my word for it uh really open up the word yourself and see what god's word has to say about salvation about being saved and the gospel i'll see you in the next video peace